Hi friends and subscribers, this is Mahmoud Sheikh and from past few videos I am working on discussing some of the basic and important most frequently asked interview questions on PHP. And in today's video I will be discussing the difference between explode and split function. Okay, explode and split functions are used for splitting a text string into an array. Okay, so here we will discuss some of the differences between split and explode functions okay so there are very few differences between split and uh, explode function and uh, after these differences we will see a real time usage of this explode function okay i have used that explode function in my project okay so i will show you how i use that explode function in my project okay so the first difference is explode splits a string into indexes and second and the dif difference of uh, split is Split uses regular expression to split the string, okay, and it also splits the complete string into indexes. Okay, explode is much faster than split, whereas split is slower. Okay, here you can see I have written down the syntax. Okay, so the explode will take two parameters. First one is the delimiter with the help of which we are splitting or which we are exploding our entire string and the second one is the string itself okay here you can see i have written down the string http colon forward slash forward slash 127.0.0.1 slash php faq slash explode split dot php okay so this is a string and i want to split this string into different sections based on the based on this delimiter based on this forward slash so in this complete string wherever i'll be getting forward slash i will divide that string okay i will divide from there okay so first section i will start i will divide i will get the section like http colon forward slash okay and then for the first index we will not get anything and for the second index we will get 127.0.0.1 okay like that okay you will get a clear idea once i execute this uh, code i once i execute the example then you will be uh, able to understand okay so now this the syntax of split is exactly the same here also we are having uh, a forward slash which is the delimiter and the second parameter is the string itself okay now let us see the practical implementation of both these methods explode and split okay so now let's go to our editor okay so here in our editor you can see i have written the code and uh, i have used split function and it takes two parameters first is forward slash and the second one is the string okay now let's i will just save it and i will just refresh okay see now it's displaying me the complete string okay, so it is displaying the string and after splitting this string it will convert that complete string into an array okay after converting to an array it will display like this okay so array starts with from zero index and in the zero index you can see it store http colon okay so how it stores the data into this array is so we have split this uh, complete string with the help of split function by passing this forward slash as a delimiter okay so in this entire string wherever split function find forward slash so it will divide that string from there Okay, so the first occurrence of the forward slash is here so whatever data before this first forward slash it will take that data and it will put it in the first index of the array okay and here you can see there are two forward slashes so after the first forward slash there is nothing in between okay so that's why the first index is empty and in the after the second uh, forward slash you can see we are having this much of information it will take that information and store in the second index of the array okay and here you can uh, you can see there is one more forward slash and the data after that will will take an and cut it out and then put it into third index of array okay so like this wherever in this complete string this split function finds the forward slash it will divide that string from there and it will put all those information one by one in each and every index okay and then it will return us that array okay so this is how split function split the string into an array okay so now let's see how explode function works okay so let's come here and then comment this okay so explode function works exactly the same way so we just need to copy this right here 
okay we you won't see any difference see when i refresh i am getting the same output okay so now let's come here explode let's change this make it as explode okay here as well save it okay so now you can see the here is the string and okay let's do this way let's add one more forward slash to this okay now you can see one extra index gets added to this array see now the fifth index gets added uh, because we have one extra forward slash added in the string okay so the explode function will also work in the same way wherever it finds the uh, finds a forward slash in this complete string it will divide that string and it will take that data and store into different indexes of the array okay so here it will work exactly the same way it will use this forward slash as a delimiter to explode this string okay so now this uh, so now let us uh, see a real time example where i have used this explode function in my project okay so now let's come here okay so this is my blog php blog application okay so i have made a different tutorial series on how to make a blog application using php and mysql there are 16 videos in that series and i have already uploaded those videos in my youtube channel okay if you people want to see how to develop a php blog application then you can watch this complete tutorial series okay so this here i have logged in as an admin now okay so now i'll be deleting this post okay so let's come here so this is our project okay this is the code for deleting the post Okay, so whenever I click on this delete post, a request will be sent to delete.php and we will come here. Okay, so here you can see I am taking the image and I am dividing, I am splitting, I am exploding that image path and because I want only the image name from that string. Okay, so now let's first show you the output. Okay, so now I'll if I click on delete post, the post should get deleted, but it will not delete. Instead of deleting the post, it will show you something like this okay so this is the image wordpress.png which is present inside here featured images okay so here i am having this image wordpress.png okay so if i uh, when i delete when i click on delete post this image should get deleted from this folder and the post should also get deleted from the database okay so for deleting the in image from this featured images directory okay here i have to pass i have to get only the image name i want only the image name which is stored inside my featured images folder so for getting uh, for getting only the image name which is wordpress.png in this case i have to take this complete string and then i have to explode this complete string by using forward slash as a delimiter okay so that's what i have done here okay so here you can see in this featured image variable i'm having the complete path of my image which means this image okay that's what i'm displaying here okay so this is the complete path of the image but right now i want only this image name not this complete string i want only wordpress.png for that what i have done is to this string i have exploded using explode function and i have given forward slash as a delimiter okay so in this complete string wherever i will find a forward slash i will divide from there i will split from there okay and i will i will store this each and every piece of information inside different indexes of arrays okay so here you can see http is stored inside zero index 127.0.0.1 stored in second index blog is in third index assets is in fourth index featured images is in fifth index and wordpress.png which is the name of the image and that exactly what i want is stored inside this sixth index okay now i have to target the information which is stored inside this sixth index okay so now what i have done is here you can see this segment this is the array okay so in this array i want 
the information which is stored inside this sixth index sixth index we are having image name okay so i will take only the image name and i will store that image into this image variable okay so now now whenever i'll be clicking on delete post post will get deleted from the database but what about image for deleting the image from this featured images folder i have to use unlink method of php okay i have to use unlink method okay so for uh, unlink method requires an image name to be supplied as a parameter okay so we need to give a complete path of the image where this image is stored okay so the image which is wordpress.png which is this one is stored inside assets featured images assets featured images and then image okay and then which is the name wordpress okay so for that for just for getting the image i have explored that complete string and uh, based on this uh, forward slash as a delimiter and then i access to only image part okay and i take that image part and i pass that image into this unlink method so that whenever i click on delete post post should get deleted from the post information this complete post information should get deleted from the database and this image which is stored inside my project directory here that image also should get deleted okay so for th for that i have take i have taken this complete string image path i exploded it and i get access to the sixth index in which our image name is stored and then i pass this image to my unlink function and i successfully deleted it okay so now let's delete it out let's come here okay and just reverse it okay save it okay now let's refresh and let, let's now delete because so if i click on delete post you can see that post is deleted successfully and now we don't have that wordpress.png file stored inside our featured images okay so this is uh, this is how we can use explode function okay in real time cases so i hope you like this video i hope you get a complete information what is the difference between explode and split function how each and every function here uh, split and explode function works how it divides and how it divides the information into an array and we also learn how we can use explode or split function in developing our web applications okay we saw a real time or a real example of using explode function okay so i hope you like this video i hope you get some useful and valuable information out of this video if you like this video click on like button share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you guys in my next video where i'll be discussing on some other interview question okay so Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in my next video.